Hallelujah. We thank God for His faithfulness. This is the last day of the sixth month. The end day of the first half of the year. Wow. Congratulations. Thank God for His faithfulness. And I pray that today will be special to you in every way. In the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you since the beginning of this year. And thank you for all you've been doing in spite of all that is happening all over the world. Thank you for keeping us. Thank you for upholding us. Thank you for blessing us. Thank you for loving us. And our prayer is that, Lord, please bless this day specially for us so that our transition into the second half will be beautiful and glorious. In Jesus' name, amen. So friends, I'm congratulating you for seeing the last day of the first half and I pray you will see many more and you will fulfill your days in Jesus' name. Today we want to talk about, briefly about the I way. The I way. And our text is from John 14, 6. John chapter 14 and verse 6. And Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Wow. I read this to you again in Matthew chapter 10 from 37 to 39. Matthew 10, 37 to 39. And he that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And he that taketh not his cross and followeth after me is not worthy of me. He that findeth his life shall lose it. And he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it. Wow. <laughs> Friends, that's a tall one. That's why they call the highway. This also that guy is said, narrow is the way. Very high way. It takes high standards. You want to be worthy of God. You want God to take you seriously. Then you have to make him priority. Make him first. Seek him first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Then you get every other thing that you want. And you see, he said he is the way. Now, I, I see politicians, particularly in the country where we are doing, doing this from, which is Nigeria. You see politicians moving from one party to the other. Oh, sometimes you are in another party, you have a favorite person in another party, and you see people like currently, you know, you see because they are doing party parallelism and they have just selected their presidential candidate. So everybody is forming alignment. Now, Jesus is saying, if you align with me, I go all the way with you. If you don't align with me, then you are not worthy of me. Friends, people say they pray, they fast for long periods and they don't get results. If you are asking me for something and you are not in alignment with me, you don't have allegiance to me, it's difficult when I have other options. You know, so I like to remind you that Jesus said, you must prepare me than other people to be worthy of my relationship, of my friendship, of my support, of me answering your prayer. I must be priority. He's a jealous God, don't forget that. I conclude with this, Matthew 7, 14. The Bible says, because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life. And few there be that find that it. I pray you will find your own narrow way to success, to joy in marriage, to joy and success in business and career. I pray you will find it. And the easiest way to find it is to make Jesus priority. He said, then you'll be worthy of him. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless you.